Okay, Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. So this is a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, whether it is your sun, moon, or rising sign. I also like to add in there your Venus if it turns into a love reading and your North Node because that is where we are going. The North Node is kind of our future. So we're heading here for these, you know, to these tarot readings for some advice on the future, some kind of heads up. So, um, welcome in. My name is Gina. Thank you for joining me. All right. So I'm using the vice versa deck today. So every card has a front and a back. Um, it's the same card. It just has kind of a different energy. So um, let's go ahead and welcome in spirit, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please help bring in clear messages for the highest good for the sign of Sagittarius. All right. Three of Pentacles. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, and the Three of Cups. So there might be a teamwork or collaboration going on, but this kind of talks about, you know, things are really starting to come together. Um, as you can see on the back of the card here, this person was hired by the pastor or whatever, the church um, to do this job. He has his hammer here. He's hired to do the job and this is when the job is complete and he, it's all coming together and he's getting paid. So looks like things are really starting to come together. There might be, um, a need for a celebration or, um, a night out with friends, that sort of thing. But let's go ahead and get more. Ooh, <laughs> the lovers. Okay, so Three of Pentacles, and I had the Three of Cups under the deck. Some tarot readers do say that um, the Three of Pentacles for them is like a third-party situation. Sometimes it's more so the Three of Cups for me, so with both of them, and then now this. Um, please don't click off the reading just yet. More cards do need to come out, but I do want to put that out there um, because the Lover's card is ultimately about a choice or an ultimatum with a partner. The Knight of Swords, so kind of presenting someone or coming in with a choice or an ultimatum. Hmm. So this might be a beautiful reading where things are coming together and it's about, you know, like this romance or it might be um, an ultimatum because there was um, like an unfaithful situation going on. We have um, that crossroads where we are grabbing, like going on a new path sort of thing. So, okay, the Nine of Pentacles is an independence energy. So it looks like this row is going to be your past. So, I mean, if, if I'm looking at it right now, it's looking like, um, you were cheated on there were, or there was a third party situation and there was a choice or an ultimatum and you've decided to go your own way because we're choosing a new path. And then we have the independence energy of the nine of pentacles. This is where she is content by herself. She doesn't need anybody else to bring her happiness. She doesn't need anybody else to pay her bills. I'm gonna put her here. Or actually she's, well, 
Yeah, I'm not, I haven't been really using that today. Oh, wow. And under her is the Eight of Cups. This is the, we are no longer emotionally fulfilled here and we are deciding to walk away um, to try and find our Nine of Cups. It's interesting because this card is very weird. It's very different on the other side. This is the usual side where we are walking away. However, this one, it's like, what are you leaving behind? You know, are there kids that are being left behind in this situation? But there is a shooting star, so there is hope. Maybe you're, you know, walking away because you are trying to look out for your inner child. You know that you deserve better. Ugh. Okay, let's see. So this is the past. Let's go ahead and get the present and then we'll get the future. There's that three of cups. What does the other side look like? Okay, well, this is the happy side where we're cup is up in the air. We're celebrating, you know, we're with our inner circle. We're with our friends. Um, this is, she's kind of by herself. So that is making me feel now that we have these, you know, on top of each other. What's under the deck? Ooh, and the moon. Yikes. I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Now you're processing the emotions of everything that has happened. Um, you know, the moon talks about our emotions, our fears, what we don't know, what we can't see, that sort of thing. I feel like you're processing what's going on or what you've recently gone through. Please, whatever you do, if you were cheated on, don't compare yourself to the other person. Um, it is solely the fault of the cheater in that sense. It, they never cheat because there is something wrong with, you know, a lot of times people will say that like, oh, you were never home. You worked all the time. You know, that kind of crap. They're going to cheat no matter what. They'll find a reason. Um, and a lot of times it's with, I, <laughs> speaking from experience, I, um, I've been cheated on in every relationship I've been in, except the one I am in, currently in. Um, so this might be an actual like karmic cycle that you are finally realizing that you deserve better. So, um, but yeah, it was always with um, someone to which they weren't really on my level and I'm not even talking about attractiveness in, yeah, in cases, yeah, but it it's just, I mean, yeah. Um, so it's not like they're going for a better person in that sense. It's always their self-esteem. They're doing it to spike their self-esteem. Oh, and you can be giving them all the compliments in the world, you know, like it's, they have shit they got to work on. So we have the page of pentacles. So something they're it's either like you're start because the pages are the novice. So it's like you're starting out again, um, but you're doing things responsible the right way, that sort of thing. Or this can talk about, you know, maybe there was an offer that came in and you grabbed it because the pages are the ones that grab. Um, let's see. We also have the sword page of swords here as well. Hmm, let me get more cards. All right, there is an ace. <laughs> an ace of cups. So this can talk about our, where we are starting over and we are filling our cup back up. Um, we are learning to love ourselves again, building up our self-esteem, that sort of thing. 
or you know this could be talking about this was in the past you've healed from it you know you are at the point of you don't rely on anybody else to um, to bring you happiness and all of that you've healed from that and now new things are coming in it's gonna be different for everyone okay we have a Possibly a decision here. So this way it's she's not she's refusing to make the decision. She doesn't want to um, even see any offers. You know, like basically, you know, when you're the after effect of everything and you're just like, I'm not looking for nothing. I'm not looking for a relationship. This is almost like the after of that. Like there is offers. And maybe you're ready to see those now. Let's keep going. Competition. Nine of Cups. Okay. So this would be um, an argument, an abrupt competition. This could be healthy competition. So you might have um, a few people, maybe your ex is trying to get back with you. Maybe there's a new per, you know, like there's um, healthy competition going on with, and you know, we've got the nine of cups. So it's kind of like the nine of cups is your wish fulfillment, your heart's desire. So what you're really hoping for. All right, so let's see what's coming in for the future. Seven of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So this is um, negative self-talk that we're telling ourselves. So here we are stealing our future from ourselves by telling ourselves that. But you're no longer going to tell yourself um, or compare your, like I was talking about comparing yourself to the other person, like feeling like, what do they have that I don't? Um, you're being patient with yourself because this is a card um, here, another seven of um, needing to be patient with yourself and have that healing and all of that. So let's see what else. Page of Wands. Wow. Look at that Phoenix. Wow. You're getting your passion back. You're no longer putting it like, like you're the reason that they, you know, you, wow. Heck yeah. You're in your element, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the Four of Wands. So, this is when you're finally bringing in stability. You're stable and you're rocking it and you're able to celebrate that. You're going to celebrate this win. This is this is also the marriage card, but it's um, a happy home card. It's the four pillars. So that rec represents stability. And it also represents everything's out in the open. Nothing's being hidden from you anymore. You're solid and stable. It, you got your passion back. No longer telling yourself... Um, negative shit in your head. Oh. <laughs> Queen of Wands. So here you are in your element. You're actually maturing and leveling up, so to speak, as well, because you're going from um, like a lower rank up to a higher rank. And then we have the star having that hope and faith. So this is the work that you did. These would be your cups of sadness and grief and all of the shit that you went through. So this is when you're learning to love yourself again, again, or this is a, you know, a cup coming in, like somebody coming in with an offer, people competing for you, that sort of thing. But this is where you're learning to, you're, this is the water bearer. So you're bearing the water of your soul. You're pouring all of your sadness, everything back in 
to the collective. You're pouring it back. You're bearing your soul because you're naked and vulnerable. Um, and this is going to bring new growth <laughs> and somebody else. It's basically, you're not going to hang on to that because you can't give from an empty cup. You need to pour that back in and trust and have faith. And once you, when you do that, I mean, the star card is a quest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to get emotional with this reading as well. Holy cow. So let's go ahead and get any healing messages from the crystal cards. Uh, I like it when just one comes out, but let's go ahead and see. Look at Malachite. So this says... Cleanse trauma, intensity, and transformation. We have Venus here. So being like healing your Venus, healing that love planet. Um, Malachite takes no prisoners, at least with your spiritual journey. A powerful conduit for energy. This cleanses the emotional body of trauma, whether it's from this life or your past. A teacher of emotional responsibility. Malachi asks that you take accountability for your feelings and helps you release patterns that no longer serve you. <laughs> Look deep in within the worlds and patterns of the Malachi to assess other dimensions within yourself. Explore different timelines and hidden messages, bringing your subconscious to light. We also have Scorpio and Capricorn energy here um, because Scorpio is about transformation. That's the death card when we're transforming and Capricorn is that grounding, that green. Um, wow. So we're going to put that right over here because it mentioned this. So we're going to go ahead and cleanse that energy with that crystal. Let me get these out of the way and see. Ooh, you got blue spinel. These spinels are always very huge. Um, so we have Gemini and Pluto. Persistence, fresh perspective, and revival. Revive to keep alive. Blue spinel brings new energy <laughs> uh, to stagnant parts of your life from inside your body to the world outside. The name of the stone comes from the Latin word for spine. And blue spinel will give you a strong backbone, sense of self, and reason to stand tall despite any challenges that you may face. This is a great crystal for workaholics and eases stress and anxiety and instills a new renewed sense of resolution. You can make it to the end if you put your mind to it. Blue spinel provides that fresh perspective to reset and reduce. So this where you are, I mean, I don't know where it would go because it's like, well, this could be this energy here too. I mean, you're completely, oh, the dogs are going to start howling now. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So I'm going to put this over here to um, actually the, where you're healing the emotions so you're not having any anxiety and all of that. Being persistent and all of that. Beautiful reading. Thank you so much for letting me read your energy today. G give me one second. And then they stop. <laughs> I just didn't want to rush through. Um, I really didn't want to just rush through and close that out. So, um, fresh perspective, persistence, and being revived. You know, it talks about being having a reset, um, renewed sense of resolution. 
you can make it to the end. So we're gonna, well, this would be your past. So we're gonna go ahead, if you're right at the start of healing, that Three of Cups, healing from that, those emotions from the past, we're gonna put that energy right over that. Wow, Sagittarius. This, I mean, this isn't gonna be a reading for everybody as far as having to go through that, that crap, but um, it looks like once you heal, because we go to the, the page of pentacles, that is somebody who is trustworthy. They are persistent. They are, so it's like you get the persistence, you're ready for this new beginning and you're going to do it confidently, um, hardworking, you're going to get the job done. And it also seems like it's not going to you know, you're going, like, as your this self-love is coming in or even offers from other people, it's like you're remembering to, to not hang on to that baggage as far as, like, um, mistrusting other people, you know? Um, you get to drop that, the heavy burden. We had that one under something as well, I think, unless that was the other reading, but here where you're able to go into your future without that baggage of telling yourself the negative self-talk and by that you're the phoenix rising you're getting your fire back and you're growing because you're going from the page of wands to the queen of wands and giving all of that crap that you've gone through back and by doing that new growth is coming in a new person is coming in beautiful and this is okay too I mean this is like knowing your worth oh my goodness i've been loving these fire readings so leo aries and sagittarius all of these fire readings were um were pretty fire <laughs> so um thank you so much for letting me read your energy today um and i hope to see you back again all right have a good one